I was recently lucky to be asked to try the new Canon EOS RP and I decided to take it on a landscape journey with me into the Kingdom of Kerry. On the same day, I also brought a new piece of equipment called the Insta360. So let's see, how did I get on with both of these pieces of technology? It's a blustery morning here and we are currently in Kerry, just close to Killarney, in a place called the Gap of Dunlow. So in front of me here is a winding road that goes down through a gap in the valley. And um, we're going to be heading to an area called the Black Valley today. I was here before in a previous episode of my vlog, um, which was a quick trip to Drumnuska. I'll link actually to that here if you haven't seen it already. But um, today is an interesting day for me because it's my first time out with this camera. So it's the Canon EOS RP, and I normally would use a, a 6D. So, you know, the advantage really with the RP is that it's a mirrorless version of the 6D Mark II. And the camera I have is the 6D Mark I, so it's a considerable upgrade, I suppose, really, in regards to the technology and the quality that's going to be available in regards to that. But I'm going to uh, have a hands-on, really, first impressions of the EOS RP. We'll take a couple of shots and I'll talk you through a couple of things anyway that I've noticed about it so far, but um, first impressions are good. As the camera decided to nearly want to go for a spin because it's so windy. So yeah, I'll uh, get set up anyway here, lucky escape, and uh, talk you through what I think of the camera in a short while. Set up here now and waiting for the light to come through. It's quite blustery. You might have noticed a moment ago in the intro that the camera I'm recording on here slightly moved. Well, more than moved. I had to grab it. So there's a fair old few gusts of winds that are coming through. And the reason for that is where we are, we're right up at the top of the um, peak, I suppose, really, between the two valleys. And where I've got the camera set up here now is I'm looking down this road that brings you through into the valley, uh, the gap in the hills each side and I'm waiting for the light to come through here and light up certain areas below that. You can also potentially see here in the screen there's dotted bits of purple. They're rhododendrons which look really really nice but are quite difficult for the National Park here in Killarney because they're quite invasive and they can take over I suppose really and dominate the indigenous plants that would be naturally growing here anyways by itself. But um, in regards to the camera now, so once I've got it set up here couple of initial uh, thoughts anyway straight away that are different from my own 6D. Number one, it has an EVF which is an electronic viewfinder. So what that will do is gives me visibility through the viewfinder, not like I'd normally see which is through the, the lens and the glass. But what it will do is give me an opportunity to be able to see what the image as well itself will look like. In a bright light scenario, I imagine that's going to be very, very helpful because I've often noticed that if the light is coming this way and I'm shooting with the light, it's almost impossible to be able to see the screen to be able to review your image. Whereas here, you put your eye to the eyepiece, you're seeing the actual digital image there, so you're not getting anything blocking you out or overexposing it from your own eyes point of view. You'll be able to see what's going on. The second thing that I like about it is from a focus point of view. So this has focus peaking, and what focus peaking is is that you see your image and as you manually turn your focus you will see certain parts of the image itself glow in a different color i've had set to red so that tells me that that's in focus and the beauty of that then is when you're setting up your shot you can twist slowly your uh, focus ring and then you'll be able to make sure that everything in your shot is fully tack sharp and in focus as well so i'm going to wait for the light here once that arrives i'll take that shot and then I'll just move around to go to a different spot and I'll check in and give you my thoughts on another couple of features straight away from the first impressions on the Canon EOS RP.
moved along now from where we were earlier on from the gap of Dunlow and we've come into the Black Valley and it's a place like I said earlier that I've been to before you might recognize it it's the Drumluska cottage and it's as I said in my last video it's probably one of the most photographed cottages in all of Ireland but it's actually quite unusual because when I was driving through here it was raining and this is probably the first time I've ever been here where it hasn't been raining and I'm getting some light on the subject as well itself but it gives me a good opportunity with the uh, EOS RP to be able to test it from the focusing point of view with the dynamic range that it would have and obviously then as well just the quality of the shot that I'd be able to get from this camera so um, I'm going to compose my shot no different than I suppose normally here take the traditional shot which is using the line of the road that you see here leads you up into the cottage and then you've got the trees that are on the left hand side of the cottage when I was here previously there was snow on the peaks but obviously there's no snow now because we're in May but um, the beauty here I think really is to be able to get the shot see what type of the diff like I say the, the dynamic range the focus on the shot as well itself and see how the camera as well will perform and I'll show you uh, the shot that I will take anyway here and we're going to go move around I'm not going to go for the traditional shot here I'm going to try and find something different a new composition in the area but yeah still good to take the RP out for uh, a spin and to give my first impressions of the camera as well itself Moving over here now slightly, there's a, an old wall that will run along up towards the cottage as well itself and it's a different composition within the frame and I'm only using one lens today which is the uh, RF mount 24 to 105 f4 and it so far it's quite impressive in regards to the quality I'm getting from the lens but also now with the focal length that's there 24 is quite good and right up as far as 105 so you know I kind of get a good bit of a mix in focal length and focal distances because I'd normally shoot on a 16 to 35 when I'm normally using my 6D so with this here it's giving me a lot more from a zoom point of view and I don't seem to have seen any real kind of integrity loss or anything like that in the quality of the image by using the lens anyway so far but what I'm doing here is I'm framing the shot that this wall is going to start on the left hand side it's going to give a good test like I say from the focal aspect because the wall is quite close and obviously the cottage in the distance but I'm waiting now for light to come through looks like there might be a nice bit of light anyway here so I'll just actually very quickly take this shot one moment and as I'm setting that up now actually I'm utilizing the focus peaking on the EOS and it's showing me that everything is in focus all the way through my exposure now with the Sun coming out as well I need to adjust that and a handy feature that this lens has is the extra ring at the front so I can adjust my f-stop so on the fly while I'm looking through the EVF I can check my photograph and I can make sure that it's going to be exposed properly when the light as well is going to change and that's very very handy to have on the front of the lens as well itself so yeah um, I'll show you this shot now from here and we'll go off and explore we'll find something else now as well in a moment So now we're at the rear of uh, Drumluska and I suppose a, a different viewpoint really uh, from an area that's been photographed to death if I'm being honest with you but always nice to come here because it's always nice to get out and it is a place of beauty but I've come to the reverse of it now um, because I want to really see what I can get from the shot from this side you know I kind of want to get something different the shot that I had below on the wall and now here as well just looking at the cottage that's here in front of me I've got it framed that I can see a small bit of the lake over here I might just adjust it so I can get the waterfall that's in the background here as well in a moment but this will be the last shot of the morning first impressions of this camera are quite good uh, looking at the review of the files as well you can review them through the EVF which is very very handy the quality looks quite good they're raw files as well so you know when I get them back to base about to process them and see how good they are but 
yeah, first impressions of the EOS RP are quite good and I look forward now to kind of using it more and getting to know more of the details and the features that would come with such a camera. So from the Black Valley and Drumlusker Cottage, thanks very much for watching this episode of my vlog. I do hope you enjoy the content. As always, I would really appreciate if you hit that subscribe button and give me a comment, give me a like. And until the next time, schlong of